when I started looking through all my playbills and my ticket stubs earlier to find stuff to talk about, I realized how much stuff, how, how, much, how many memories we have in these little pieces of paper. Like, well, this was the most recent show I saw, and I absolutely loved it. And it's a show that I kind of want to help out in a production of at some point in time. For example, there's that. There are the memories associated with this ticket stub for The Dark Knight. It was, I guess, the, one of the first films I saw with a group of friends that I was really, really excited for, and we just discussed afterwards. Well, that might have been Watchmen. I mean, here, you have a ticket stub for Indiana Jones 4. When I walked out of that, my first thoughts were, yeah, they could have done without the Tarzan sequence and the aliens and the fridge. But there's just so much stuff to talk about that I, I just really don't know where to start, but I guess from the beginning. The Music Man was the first musical I saw. I loved Chicago, possibly because of the outfits. Then there was Man of La Mancha, it was the first musical that I got signatures for. Look at that, main cast, Scribbles. Cabaret, because cabaret. Producers, better are the two Mel Brooks musicals, I would say. Even though I didn't see this with Lane and Broadway. Billy Joel, Broadway? Of course. Oddly enough, my one of my dream roles in this is The Dentist. I don't know what that says about me, but uh... Alfred Molina on Broadway was pretty cool, I should say. Elton John, Tim Rice. Classic Revival, saw it before it closed. Same for Aida. John Lithgow, singing, dancing. Um, yeah. Again, Landon Broderick, Neil Simon. It was good, but I, I don't know. Not quite what I was expecting. But it, 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 was, it was still good. Rent, I saw this twice. Lion King, twice. Classic Revival, why not? Complete a very fun... Off Broadway show, Blue Man Group. I definitely recommend it. Possibly the first explicit E show I saw. It's towards the end of high school, so yeah. You really can't go wrong with Frankie Bell in the Four Seasons. David Ed Pierce, Broadway, of course. I was kind of into Frasier for a while. Still am. Um, do I need to say more? First musical I saw at Lincoln Center, and it was absolutely fantastic. Adorable, touching musical, off-Broadway, why not? Um, yeah! First time I went up on stage after a musical to dance around and stuff, because it was fun. A classic, why not? And of course, this. When it comes to movies, hey, so many more. The Illusionist first flick I, where I realized that I was a Paul Giamatti fanboy. Oh boy, too, when I first realized that, oh my god, I want to work with Guillermo del Toro. Red Eye, first Wes Craven flick I saw. Strange in Fiction, first Will Ferrell film that I rather liked him in. There's usually a lot more, like, first Coen Brothers film I saw, Burn After Reading. First full length stop motion animation film, Coraline, which was, yeah, somewhat scary. Chlorophyll, so up for my 18th. And I was really excited because it was J.J. Abrams, and yeah, he's J.J. Abrams! And yeah, I kind of liked it more than a lot of people, possibly because of, I guess, the cinema verite effect. This is just a handful of memories I have associated with playbills and ticket stubs. Let me know what you guys think down there, if you have any memories associated with them. I welcome video responses, but you could probably also make them as video responses to Liam. By the way, this shirt, I, um, I kind of had it first. Yeah. DFTBA, LLZ, see you all tomorrow.